To solve x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals to 0, we must find out if this equation can be first factored. So we look at the 14 term here, and we find all the factors for 14. So what do we have? We have 14 can either be 14 times 1, 7 times 2, and that's it. So to find a suitable factor, we need to look at two numbers which multiply to give us negative 14, and when added together, gives us negative 5. So straight away, I look at this 7 times 2, and I see that if we put a negative sign here, we have negative 7 times 2 equals to negative 14, and negative 7 plus 2 equals to negative 5. So therefore, those are our two factors. So we do our two brackets like this. We have two x's here. And now we put in our factors, minus 7 and plus 2. So if you expand this bracket out, you will get this equation here. So now when we want to solve this equation, we need to find one bracket so that it equals to 0, because anything times 0 equals to 0. So if this was bracket was 0, anything times that equals to 0. Therefore, it is a solution. So on our left-hand side bracket, we have x minus 7 equals to 0. Therefore, if you add 7 to both sides, you will have x equal to 7. So 7 minus 7 equals to 0. So 0 times that equals to 0. So therefore, x is equals 7 is the solution. And on our other bracket, we have x plus 2 equals to 0. So subtract 2 on both sides, you get x equals to negative 2. Check it, so negative 2 plus 2 equals 0, 0 times whatever is in here equals to 0. So if, therefore, our two solutions are x equals to 7 and x equals to negative 2.